everyone, it's Silke and Jamie and today we are talking about the three must-haves in the Amasa diet that will make it more nutritious and satisfying. The first must-have is oil. This is going to help make your shakes a lot more nutritious and satisfying. And the reason for this is because oils are higher in calories, but they provide essential fats that are very helpful to your metabolism, digesting fat-soluble vitamins, as well as your hormones and other bodily functions. So make sure you add oils to your shakes, about one to two teaspoons of oil. If you prefer not to do that, you can actually add oils to your salads or your other meals but make sure you are getting at least five to seven teaspoons of oils per day you can choose oils such as olive oil walnut oil or even flaxseed oil the second must have is fiber while being on a mostly or all liquid diet with Ama said it's really important to add fiber to your shakes to help you stay satisfied and regular and fiber has a lot of good preventative effects for your overall health in the long run. So for example, it can help with lower your cholesterol level or it can help support healthy blood sugar levels. So those are some other benefits why fiber is good to add to your diet. And for the Amasa diet, we do recommend adding extra fiber such as ground flax seeds, chia seeds, psyllium husk, or hemp seeds. You can do about one to two tablespoons per shake and those seeds will also give it a nice nutty flavor. The third must have in the Almasa diet is the vegetable broth. So during phase one of our diet program, which is the cleansing phase, we recommend drinking the vegetable broth because your body is gonna be undergoing a detox while you're burning fat. And when you burn fat, toxins are released in the body and that can cause you know headaches or make you feel a little sore. The antioxidants from the vegetable broth is going to help combat those radicals. So you feel a lot better. So make sure you get that vegetable broth in at least four cups a day during phase one. And during phase two, you can continue to drink the vegetable broth at unlimited amounts. This time you can actually eat the vegetables that you strain out from the vegetable broth. And Silka will explain later in this video on how you can make vegetable broth. Yeah, it's really easy to make the vegetable broth and we do prefer you making it yourself. However, if you can't make it yourself, you can opt out to buying 100% vegetable juice in the store and then we would like you to get the low sodium kind. But again, preferably you should make the vegetable broth yourself. It's super easy and the other benefit is that you can control the amount of salt that you're adding to the broth and also the taste that you're giving it. Cause there are really great ways to flavor it up. So making the vegetable broth, again, is very easy. You cut up all different kinds of vegetables from broccoli to cauliflower, onions, Carrots, yeah, mm -hmm. cabbage, Kale. lots of different things. So you cut it up, um, put it in a hot pot of boiling water until the vegetables are tender. Then you strain them out and voila, you have the broth. Yeah. The vegetables you can either um, use up later for a meal or put them in the compost. And the broth, you can then spice up with some nice herbs, different spices. So just try different variations, but it's really easy. Those are our three must-haves in the Almaced diet. Make sure you have those ready before you start on the program and throughout the program. Thank you so much for watching our video. Yeah, we hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you wanna share any other must-haves that you have, or if you have questions to our must-haves, you can leave comments in the box below or just email us at nutritionist at amaset.com. You can also tweet us at Jamie and Silka. We'll see you next time on Amaset TV. And remember, you have it in you to get the body, health, and life you deserve.